Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday, primarily on tumblers, but I also do other things like pens and bed reels and product reviews. And guess what? This is one of those product reviews. So a company reached out to me and they asked me to test out their light pad. It is a tracing light pad, which is also good for weeding. And that's the only reason why I agreed to do this because I don't trace things and I don't draw but it's really good for weeding as well. So if you're interested to see what I think of this product and it's used for weeding, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the unboxing. All right, so let's unpack this. I opened the box and saw what it was, so I was really excited. I was like, oh, I need to record the, uh, opening of this is from Tohito US and are you ready da -da -da -da. it's a light pad so this company reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in product testing this which I was like yes because they say it makes vinyl weeding much easier and obviously it's good for tracing and a bunch of other things so let's go ahead and open this up so Andrew, my son, was already in this box because he's super excited because he draws a lot. All right, so here is a cord. Let's move this padding out of the way. What do we have here? Looks like a pencil. All right. So a pencil. And then something to trace. Look how cute that dog is. dog another dog it's keeping enough dogs a fly and a mouse Ooh, look how pretty these are parrot parakeet dolphin kids love dolphins Oh, and just some extra blank pages for you to draw on. Okay, cool. Right, let's put these aside. Wow, I was not expecting this to be this big. It gives you a really big drawing surface, which is really cool. Gently put this out. LED light pad. Codes, light pad. Yes? You don't use the pad. Okay. Uh, easy operation. Place the copy table on a flat table and connect the power source. So, I guess that holds your paper. It's magnetic. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. This right here is magnetic. Remove the protective film before use. Here is the power cord, and it's a USB. This is a pretty long cord, which is good. So let me go find a USB plug, which I have over here. And thankfully, when my husband set up my workspace, we have tons and tons of plugs close by. So I grabbed this. So it doesn't come with one of these, so you'll need one. Now let's see where it plugs into. Oh, Ooh. I think I turned it on by accident. Let's see, I'm trying to find where to plug it in. Ah, oh, there we go, right there. So here's your power button, oh, on. 
changes the dimness. Okay. There's a protective film that comes off. Oh, you know, I hate taking protective films off everything. definitely got like it's got like a kickstand back here okay so you can adjust like how up you want it or how down you want it so there's the different slots so you could just want like nice and easy. So that's really, that's pretty cool. All right. And then, so I've never used a light pad before. So This is like sticking on, like it's just like sticking on. That's cool. Put your picture on and then... There you go. And go ahead and trace. All right, so this is the unboxing. I think this is really neat. So I, the first thing that I'm obviously gonna try is weeding vinyl. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to cut out for now and I'm going to be back in a little bit. All right. So the first thing I did was I printed up on patterned vinyl because I know I have the hardest time weeding patterned vinyl. So you can't really see it that well uh, in this video, but I can see the lines really, really easily using the light pad. And I have it on the brightest setting. It's got a couple of settings. It's got some like warm light settings and then these brighter white settings and then you can adjust the dimness of it but I have it on the brightest setting for this and so I can easily see all these little flower petals to weed them out so wow it made such a huge difference because otherwise I would have been going crazy trying to angle it and putting it up to the light trying to make sure that I didn't poke the skinny little lines that go around the flower petals especially on this teeny tiny little guy, like holy cow, I could easily mess that up. So next thing I tried was this glittered vinyl and wow, look at that. So I printed it and without the light, I can't even see the lines because of the glitter. And you turn that on and you can instantly see all your lines. So, you know, I printed, a, I printed the flower again and super easy to weed. So, so far I'm loving this. It's making weeding so much easier. So after I get done with this one and I go on and I decide that I'm going to do some like holographic, this holographic, red holographic, and I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to show you weeding, but holy cow, huge difference. You can see the lines now. Now we're going into the black solid vinyl. Can't see at all. So not worth it. But now I have the Cricut Shimmer Vinyl, which I could not see any of the lines at all. I put it over top of this light box and I can see all of the lines again. So wow, yeah, it made weeding this name out of the Cricut Shimmer Vinyl so much easier. I could see all the lines. I could trim around it without cutting into the vinyl. And I can see all the center pieces that I need to pull out. So it's a time saver. It's absolutely a time saver because this, especially this shimmer vinyl, like you cannot see a single cut line on it, whether you flip it backwards or you look at it frontwards. So uh, that, you know, this is what I tested for this video. And so I am going to be back with my final remarks on this. All right, guys, so what do I think of this light pad? I really like it for weeding crazy patterns, crazy vinyl patterns. And so we're talking about glitter vinyl. 
Hard to see when it's kind of, especially your blacks. Holographic. Shimmers from Cricut, which I generally stay away from, but sometimes on occasion, I really like the shimmer vinyl. So that's super, super hard to see. They also have this uh, pink shimmer vinyl. Look at, you know, we have crazy patterns here. Look at this. This is so awesome. Annie up graphic supply. Go grab one of these. These are so awesome. I'm going to have a link for them down below, down below in the description. Yes. And then Cricut also has a couple of these weirdo, like super, I don't even know what these are. Holographic kind of ish, whatever they are. Hard to weed. And then, you know, other pattern vinyls. So, you know, the light box for these things are awesome. So if you're using a lot of pattern vinyl, I would definitely pick one of these up. They're definitely worth the money. As far as regular solid color vinyl, I found it didn't help at all. And I don't have trouble weeding solid vinyl anyway. And uh, I, you know, I can always, I, I know how to angle my light just so that I can see all of it in there. But for all of this, definitely, absolutely. I totally recommend it. Completely happy with this product. I am so glad that they selected me to product test this. And I am gonna put a link in the description down below where you can purchase one of these if you choose. I'm gonna reach out to the company, see if I can get a discount code. I can't promise you, but it may be worth the full price if you do a ton of weeding. So guys, that is it for this review. Thank you all for sticking around. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. I love to hear your feedback and check out my Facebook group. It's a craft thing. I post lots of things in there that I don't do tutorials on as well as my Instagram. I do have a TikTok that's only a little, I only have a few videos on there. I'm not like really huge into TikTok right now, but Glitter Makes It Superstars group, fun giveaways every Sunday. Check that out and I will see you all next time, guys. Bye.